Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, hi, my name is Emily. I am 27 years old. I'm based out of New York City, but right now I'm on tour with Coco Melon Party Time around the country. Um, hi, welcome. How are you guys? I haven't vlogged in like a second. Not gonna lie to you guys. Here I am. We're back at it. We're in a new city. New city, new me. Am I right? I just got to Columbus, Ohio yesterday. It's the next leg of our tour. We're not here for too long. We're only here for like, I don't even think two weeks. So it's going to be a quick one, but a very fun and exciting one. If you haven't been keeping up with the vlogs, I was in Buffalo before this and Toronto before that and then Atlanta before that so we're like kind of halfway through we did three cities and now we have three more cities to go before my contract ends so everybody flew in yesterday from Buffalo or no not yesterday two days ago from Buffalo now and I decided to go visit some friends on our couple of days off so I rented a car drove to State College Pennsylvania from Buffalo stayed there for a day and then drove to Columbus Ohio and now I'm here. So yesterday was like a full day of driving for me. I was exhausted. I took a nap. I ate. It's the next day. I'm here. As you can tell, I kind of slept in. My face is still a little bit puffy. It's already 9.51. I was planning on getting up earlier, but I just needed to lay down for a little bit. Um, we don't start shows until maybe even tomorrow or Saturday, I believe. I should really look at that schedule. I do have some time this morning. I don't know what time we're called to load in, so I'm going to take advantage of the time and uh, go do a little coffee shop and get some work done because uh, between you and me, I'm supposed to post a vlog today. Did I start editing it? No, I've been a busy gal. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to um, a coffee shop and get some editing done. If you don't know my friend Alexis, who is also a YouTuber, she's from Columbus, Ohio. So she gave me a list of things I have to do and we're gonna first start off with this coffee shop. I am living in an attic. We have an Airbnb for the cast and it is so cute in such a cute little part of uh, Columbus. And I requested an attic room and they saved one for me, which I love. Like so sweet um it's very cozy i'm living my little women dreams i feel like the little redheaded kid and cheaper by the dozen when they move to the new house yeah so i'm happy i got a good night's sleep last night i'm ready to take on the day you know i'm wearing some sweatpants i'm gonna stay in the cozy vibes i have my glasses on we're gonna get some things done but we're also gonna rest at the same time i really need to brush my teeth and that's it so i'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna go on a little adventure we're gonna go take a walk to this coffee shop that um alexis used to apparently go to in high school so i can't believe i'm in like columbus ohio without her it's like weird who would have thought anyway all right let's go This has has to be the quietest place we've ever lived so far. No people, no cars. Feels very suburban. Crazy. Okay, so I just finished at the coffee shop. It was good. It was yummy. That sandwich was huge. I got a good amount of editing done, but I think there's a cute little bookshop about a mile away that I'm gonna walk to. Um, I'm just curious. I actually saw it on TikTok. So I'm excited to go see that. I wish I got more footage in the coffee shop, but there was a lot of people in there and I felt weird and I was sitting at a community table. So gotta do what you gotta do, but now I'm on my way. It's so autumn. I love it. finally fall the leaves changing even my drive like to columbus was beautiful like so many different colors fall is my favorite season so i'm very happy right now oh what is this one oh. anyway just like the leaves on the ground the small things it makes me so happy
with Kiwi, Cali, and Abigail. They came to the book loft, so they're in there, and I'm in a little cute coffee shop next door. Second coffee of the day. Pumpkin spice latte. And, and I'm gonna sit here and edit for a little bit while I wait for them to come. I mean, I feel like I'm getting sick in here, so that's not good. Today took a turn for the worse. <laughs> I feel like not great. I feel a little sick. My head feels like like hurts. It feels stuffy. I have like some pressure right here and some pressure right here. I really don't have like soreness, like not a sore throat or anything, but I do feel like either exhausted or sick. Like I'm gonna get sick. So my roommates did give me like some, or my housemates give me some vitamins and uh, packets of tea that I'm supposed to drink throughout uh, tonight and tomorrow because they weren't feeling good either. So there's probably something going around the cast. I came back, I took a nap and now I'm gonna try to continue editing because I did not finish everything that I wanted to. And um, I got some soup from Panera, obviously, and um, chill out for a sec. We're staying in German Village. It is so cute. Where I explored today, I was happy with everything. I went to two coffee shops. First was the Fox in the Snow, I think, cafe. I got this really, really big sandwich and it was really, really yummy. Kind of hard to eat. Yeah, and then I got a vanilla iced latte, my go-to, and it was really cute. It was um pretty crowded, so I didn't get too much footage, but cute vibes. Like I sat at the community table, but there was plenty of seating there and it was it was nice. So went to that first. And then I went to the book loft. I actually saw that on TikTok. A friend of mine sent it to me. And it's basically like this building with a bunch of small little rooms of different like sections of books and it's like a maze it's kind of crazy how many books are in that place i went to there i went to that and then keely abigail and callie met me there and they explored a little bit i got two books i got i've been wanting to read this one book for a while sutton foster's how crafting saved my life i'm really excited about this i'm a big fan of sutton foster and i know it goes into a lot of like her relationships and like her life and i'm just really curious to see what she has to say because i look up to her musical theater queen and then i also got this book called good girl complex i actually haven't heard of it before but i read the back and it looks really interesting these are my two books that i got i do need to finish the book i'm reading now it's taking me forever since i'm so busy i'm reading emily's henry's um the happy place is it the happy place or uh, no just happy place i really i really like it it just i have to find time to read it so hopefully getting these books are going to encourage me to read to finish it i'm not i don't have that much left and then um while they continued shopping for a little bit i went next door to another coffee shop to get some things done and i forget what that's called it was really yummy i got a pumpkin spice latte and i kind of like the vibes of that one better so if i want to go back to like another coffee shop i'll probably go there they had outdoor seating like a cute little courtyard that i didn't notice until on the way out i would really like to sit there and get some work done too but and they're open till 6 p.m which is good to know and then i came back here and then you you're caught up from that now i'm gonna uh eat my soup probably like stay in for the rest of the night stay in bed i have a lot of liquids i have a lot of teas all right i'll see you guys tomorrow oh i almost forgot we also went to this deli and we got sandwiches and ate that I, you probably saw that already but we got i forget what it's called but it was really cute i got a blt i only ate half of it so i'm gonna eat the other half sometime soon and they also had free pickles like out of a jar so that was awesome all right now good night <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. We have some press this morning. Again, I'm gonna be on the news, again. So I woke up pretty early, now I'm getting ready. Um, we actually have a later call time. We don't have to be there till 9.45. It's like 8.30 right now. So I'll get to my hair, get my makeup. I'm gonna get this show on the road, right? Uh, today we have load in. So right after this, we'll probably go um, to the venue to load in. I'll probably do some grocery shopping today. And that's about it. So it's gonna be a fun day today, I think. One of my castmates who's living in my house with me, like did a CVS run. Everybody's feeling sick, but she went and did a CVS run and got us like a bunch of meds to take today, all that stuff. So I feel a lot better today than I did last night. I don't know what she gave me. I drank like a couple teas and took a couple vitamins, but I feel good. So that's good. All right, I'm gonna go. I need to do this.
Good morning, everybody. We made it. It is press day one. I don't know if we're having more than one, but we're having one at least for Columbus. And we got in here early, 15 minutes early to be exact. So now we're staying here. Good morning, Columbus. Did you know that Cocomelon is the most watched preschool programming in the world with 4 billion views a month on YouTube and 200 million subscribers? You can also find I'm it on YouTube them. and Netflix. Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a true fan. It's so nice to meet you. Do you know what today's Cocomelon fun fact is? What's today's Cocomelon fun fact? Nina's spin off show just got released on YouTube. Oh, wow. <laughs> My brain says Nina's Nina time, but I know that's no, not, I not really. Nina time. <laughs> that would be like great. Nina's Familia or something. Dora walks on Nina. Walks Nina, Nina run. <laughs> oh, it's also National Coffee Day, so you get a free cup of coffee at Dunkin'. Thank God. <laughs> finished our press and of course we got to go to Duncan Hello we are about to build a step and repeat come join us as we load in for Coco Melon party time. Okay. Columbus edition. Columbus edition. Why do we keep saying the Ohio State? This shouldn't be too hard. No instructions. Oh, they, they are numbered. One. <laughs> that looks different. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Everybody, it's another day. Another day, another nickel, another dollar. I don't know what do they say. It is 9:12. I got to sleep in a little bit today. We don't have a show until 1:30, so we don't have to be there till 12:30, which means we don't have to be there till 12. So we've got a hot second. Yesterday we came home and uh, me and Kimi went grocery shopping right away. We went to Kroger, which I know, I think it's an, I don't know, is it an Ohio thing? I've never been to a Kroger before, but I got um, a bunch of stuff. And then I uh, hung out with Angel and Kenny for a little bit downstairs. But after that, I like went to bed and uh, continued watching my show and fell asleep. So that's that's how last night went down <laughs> you didn't miss too much i promise i do have i do want to film a lot today yeah i do want to film a lot today <laughs> period with my day we have two shows today uh we opened today in columbus so that's exciting i don't know if i said this but we're literally on ohio state campus like i feel like i'm in college again i was walking like to the duncan and it was like me and a bunch of college students and i was like oh my god i feel so old yeah so we're opening today i'm resisting every bone in my body to go um to go to a coffee shop right now since i literally just bought coffee and like stuff to make omelets yesterday and i'm gonna use that stuff instead of going out to buy something oh but i really want to <laughs> so i'm gonna go make myself a coffee and an omelet i think i'm gonna go outside and read my book it looks like a beautiful day out and then um gotta do my hair and makeup we got a show to do so yeah i was before like all this whole tour thing started i was thinking about doing a vlogtober which was basically like i vlog every day of october <laughs> and i just 
it's September 30th right now so I was thinking about it and I was like should I still do it like that's a lot for me I would have to edit every night and film so much but I kind of want to try it maybe not vlog every day but kind of every other day maybe I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments because if that's something you're into then let's do it but I don't know I don't even know what's holding me back but I think that could be really really fun a little vlogtober that's all that's on my mind right now I do need to get dressed I the weather has been weird in Columbus it was cold in Buffalo but now it's a little warmer again all right it's 59 right now it's gonna be 80 today sounds like a day of layers to me yeah it's gonna be 80 at like 4 p.m crazy let's get dressed let's cook an omelet let's make some coffee and get our day started It is now 11.39. Uh, I read my book a little bit and then I did my makeup and now I'm just waiting to uh, go. Oh my gosh, this needs to be blended more. I have about 20 minutes. Came back outside. It's a beautiful day and I'll probably just hang out here until we have to go in uh, at 12. So yeah, that's the update. That was my morning. Pretty chill morning. It was really nice. Um, We're staying in German Village in Columbus and it is so cute. I love Columbus. All right, so just got here to the venue. I'm in the backstage area. We have a, these beautiful windows, like all over, which is so nice compared to our last venue. We had like no natural sunlight at all. I had to run and get myself another coffee. I know I was gonna try not to do it, but I needed to and I need the energy and whatever. Um, also, Auntie, our tour manager, got me a, a, a late birthday present and it's self-love. It says, <laughs> they're little candles. And they say self-love, bring to a direct Burn to attract healthy, helpful, healing love. You deserve to be loved the way that you love. I thought that was so sweet. I'm excited to use those. But we have like an hour till the first show. We're gonna do a warm up in a little bit and then get the show on the road, you know? Some of you have been asking more about what I do for my work and here's my outfit. Come on, Keely. Keely swung out today. This is her outfit. <laughs> Ready for opening. Hey, Columbus. So cute, right? Amanda, if you're watching this, I stole your uh, hair tie. <gasps> we just finished our first show and now we're sitting outside reading a book. Hi, everyone. Just got home from work. I laid down right away in my attic. Um, I literally have like none of this book left. So I'm gonna finish reading this book. Gonna make some dinner and see where the night takes us. It's a Saturday night, but that's like not the weekend. My hair looks absolutely crazy. Anyway, it's not like the weekend for us. Our weekends are Mondays and Tuesdays. So the weekend is the most busy day for me. Chill, keep it chill. My voice feels pretty good. We just finished um, two shows. All right, gonna finish my book. So I can go on to the next one. I'll give you guys a full review once I'm done because I want to start talking more about the books I'm reading. Um, and that way, maybe I'll actually read them because this is taking me months. Like I've been reading this since Toronto. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. 